The Study Habits of Frederick Nietzsche With a Spartan rigor which never ceased to amaze his landlord grocer, Nietzsche would get up every morning when the faintly dawning sky was grey and work uninterruptedly until 11 in the morning. He then went for a brisk two-hour walk through the nearby forest or along the edge of Lake Sivalplana or of Lake Sills, stopping every now and then to jot down his latest thoughts in the notebook he always carried with him. And Nietzsche worked a lot. He used almost always the same routine to focus on writing, reading, and understanding ideas. His schedule was disciplined, consistent, but a lot of wondering and thinking. He once said, all truly great thoughts are conceived while walking. 